Um, so before going to the algorithms, I would like you to know about some properties. There are some properties about the complete binary trees. Okay. So now this is a complete binary tree. I am not talking about almost complete binary tree. It is complete binary tree having three nodes. It is complete binary tree having seven nodes. Complete binary tree having uh, 15 nodes I think. Okay. Now uh, there are some properties I would like you to know here. First one is height of a node. So height of a node is defined as the number of edges from that node to the longest possible leaf or the longest possible number of edges from that node to any leaf right so which means just see this take this node what will be the number of edges for of the from this node to any any uh, leaf and what is the longest possible edges so longest possible edges is one two three therefore since there are three nodes only that is longest so more than three there is no possibility from this node you can take it to any of the leaves so since the number of uh, uh, edges are three height of this one is three what about height of this one number of edges count them one two so height of this one as well as this one both of them is going to be two what about height of these one two three four sorry uh, one all right so all these four are going to have a height one and all of these are going to have a height zero because there is no edge at all right then that is how we define the height of a node so remember this height of a node is length of the edges the number of the edges on any uh, path from that node to the leaf you have to take the longest such number okay so see this let us say this is a almost complete binary tree right so in this almost complete binary tree what is the height of this node if you count this the number of edges from this node to any leaf this is also a leaf it is also a leaf but then it has to be longest so there are two edges from this node to this leaf therefore height of this is two then what is height of this node height of this node is one what is height of this node zero what is height of this node zero right so it doesn't mean that if all the nodes are of are at the same level they will get the same height so height depends on number of edges from that node till any of the leaf you have to take longest such number but here since all it is complete it is have it, it so happened that all the nodes at the same level had got the same uh, height but it is not always the case right so let me tell you about this what is the height of this one one what is the height of this one and this one zero what is the height of this one one what is the height of this one two what is the height of this one sorry height of this one is two and height of this one is one and height of this one is zero this level completely is zero right all the nodes in that level are zero that is how we define the height of a node then what is the height of a tree is whatever is the height of the root that is the height of the tree so in this case what is the height of the tree height of the tree in this case is one because height of the root is one in this case what is the height of the tree height of the tree in this case is two the reason is uh, the root height is two what is the height of this tree height of this tree is three the reason is root height is three then what is the height of this tree height of this tree is 2 the reason is root height is 2 right fine so that is how you can find out what is the height of a node and what is the height of a tree and next thing is given a height what is the maximum number of nodes that could be present in a complete binary tree okay so given this node this one uh, given this height what is the maximum number of uh, nodes see this this is a complete binary tree of height 1 so if a complete binary tree of height 1 is given then what is the maximum number of nodes in this maximum is 3 right and in this case what is the maximum number of nodes in a complete binary tree of height 2 we got it to be I think 7 in this case what is the maximum number of nodes we got it to be 15 right now if you see this if height of the tree is something 
then what is the maximum number of nodes in it if height of the tree is 1 we got the maximum number of nodes to be 3 if height of the complete binary tree i'm talking about complete binary tree so this property does not apply to this one this is not complete binary tree it is almost complete binary tree i'm talking about complete binary trees which means at every level all the nodes are full now if the height of the complete binary tree is 2 then the number of nodes is 7 if the height of the complete binary tree is 3 then the number of nodes is 15 if this would have been 4 then you will get it as 31 okay so what is the relationship between height and maximum number of nodes so if you observe this the relationship is 2 power h plus 1 minus 1 where h is the height of the tree therefore maximum number of nodes in any tree which is having a height h is 2 power h plus 1 minus 1 right so if you substitute 1 in this place you are going to get 3 if you substitute 2 in this place you are going to get 7 if you substitute 3 in this place you are going to get 15 substitute 4 in this place you are going to get 31 right that is one thing you should keep in mind so if height is given then the maximum number of uh, nodes are going to be this now as an interesting exercise what if it is not binary tree it is ternary tree ternary tree means you have three nodes right so can you work on it if you have a ternary tree how can you uh, resolve this which means ternary tree means ternary tree of height one will have complete ternary tree of height one will have these many nodes right then how can you do this can i put three power h plus one minus one isn't it so if height equal to one then is it is it that 3 power h plus 1 plus 1 is, is it that following so you just work, work on it and even you work on what is the height of what is the maximum number of nodes on a complete nary tree on a complete nary tree uh, what is the maximum number of nodes you please work on it as an exercise i'll leave, leave it leave that to you and next thing is given any binary search tree or given any sorry given any complete binary tree or almost complete binary tree with n nodes then what is the height of the tree or what is the minimum height of the tree it turns out that height of the tree is just see this you can go in a reverse order right so if three number of nodes is given then what is the height of it one if seven nodes are given what is the height of it two if 15 nodes are given what is the height of it three if 31 nodes are given height of it is four and in this case it is a binary tree which is not complete in this case if five nodes are given what is the height of it two right so what is the relationship between number of nodes and height it turns out that if i have n nodes in any almost complete binary tree or complete binary tree it could be either this almost complete or it could be complete binary tree then it turns out that log n is the height of it isn't it just see this if i have three nodes then what is log 3 1 log 3 you have to take a base right the floor if i have seven nodes then what is the uh, height 2 if i have eight nodes then what is uh, sorry 15 nodes then what is log 15 log 15 is uh, 3 point something therefore we are going to get 3 i mean i'm going to take the uh, floor if I have 31, I am going to get 4. So, if a node, if number of nodes in a almost complete binary tree or complete binary tree, which means in a heap or n, then the uh, then the height of it is going to be log n, right? Therefore, we can say that height of any uh, heap is theta of log n. We can directly say this, right? Because this relation is holding. Next one is let us assume that okay what about this almost complete binary tree how many nodes are there one two three four right so four nodes then what is the what is log four base two log four base two is two right isn't it therefore either it is complete almost complete binary tree or complete binary tree uh, the size the height of it is always going to be log n therefore one thing that you have to note down is uh, height of any binary binary heap is going to be log n so let's see some more properties now let's uh, discuss this problem given an array of elements given an array of elements now i want to build a heap 
so one thing you have already uh, seen is uh, i want to know whatever problems i am going to discuss they are all about max heap okay so whatever i am going to do here you can just reverse the you know do some bit modifications in the algorithms and you can do them for min heap also that is that is one issue you keep that you keep that in mind and second thing is uh, now given an array any array if i have to construct you know convert it into a max heap we have seen that one thing i could do is i could sort the array right if i sort the array in descending order which means if i have an array like this let us say 100 50 10 5 6 already descending order right so every array which is sorted in descending order is already a max heap therefore in order to construct a max heap you can sort the list and you could get it so for which the time taken will be order of n log n so using any comparison based algorithm the best complexity we get is order of n log n so the time time that is going to take for this uh, building of a max heap is n log n let's see if you could do something better uh, than you know taking this time of n log n that is what we are interested in now uh, so before going to that you just understand some few properties about uh, complete binary tree or almost complete binary tree okay so let us say this is the almost complete binary tree then uh, see the indices this is index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 and index 5 okay now if i have these these many indexes then i just want to know what is the starting point of uh, a leaf if i have the indices 1 2 3 4 5 5 then where are the leaves starting from leaves will start from 3 in this point and then 3 4 5 are leaves right so let us say i have one more node 6 then where are the leaves starting from now this is not a leaf a leaf is nothing but a node with zero children right this is not a leaf this is a leaf and this is a leaf and this is a leaf in complete binary tree we have a property that leaves will start at one point and from that point till the end they are all will be leaves so if i have a leaf and non leaf they will no you know they will not come one after the other once the leaves start they will go till the end now interesting question is uh, where is the leaf starting if i have n nodes the complete binary trees or almost complete binary trees they follow the property that n by 2 to 1 to n they all will be leaves okay take any heap which is a almost complete binary tree or binary tree then you find out these numbers n by 2 plus 1 to n then you can say that all the numbers from that to this will be leaves so in this case what is n 6 therefore 6 by 2 plus 1 to 6 which is nothing but 4 to 6 right therefore 4 5 6 are all leaves so it will be followed in any tree let us say i have this this is 7 and this is 8 i totally have eight nodes then what is the starting point of leaf leaf will be starting from 5 and all the leaves are 5 6 7 8 right therefore if i have n nodes right then n by 2 floor plus 1 to n all these nodes are going to be leaves right check this now what about n n is 8 8 by 2 plus 1 to 8 so which means 5 5 to 8 5 6 7 8 all these are leaves and all the remaining nodes are non leaves right that is what you should remember so all the leaves are going to start from n by 2 plus 1 to n and all the remaining are non leaves now why are we interested in finding out the leaves is i already told you that every leaf is nothing but a tree with one node and every tree with one node is already a heap either min heap or max heap see if i have only one node then there are no children at all therefore this is the maximum and this is the minimum in the entire tree therefore every leaf is a heap so that is what i wanted so already the building blocks are leaves which are already heaps to which i'll add one more element to which i'll add one more element that is how we are going to uh, perform this uh, building heap procedure okay i'll just take an example and i'll show you how we are going to build the heap see this now the example is 
uh, let us assume that all the numbers are like this. So I have taken the uh, numbers to be in ascending order so that uh, the work required in order to convert this to a max u will be maximum. So this will be a good example in order to do this. So how does the build heap uh, procedure work is, see this procedure is not build heap, this is required in order to apply the build heap, right. So I am going to show you how the build heap is going to work along with this uh, method. So given this array just write it in terms of tree how do you understand this in terms of the complete binary tree first element is nothing but the root 1 and then 5 is the root i mean 5 is the left tree 6 and then 8 will be here 12 will be here 14 will be here and 16 will be here right so this is how the <coughs> you can view it as a binary tree complete binary tree right then the basics are this in order to build the tree observe the leaves leaves are these four and if you observe only the leaves only the leaves then they are uh, max heap in their own right therefore this is a max heap this is a max heap right then what is the least uh, you have to take the least or the lowest index or, or, sorry, or sorry the largest index which is a non-leaf see this this indices are like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so leaves are from 4 to 7 so how do you know the leaves are from 4 to 7 number of here n is number of nodes is 7 and the and i told you that leaves will start from n by 2 plus 1 2n right so what is n by 2 n by 2 is 7 by 2 7 by 2 is nothing but 3 3 plus 1 to 7 which means 4 to 7 are the leaves 4 5 6 7 are the leaves so that is what you understood first of all so now 4 5 6 7 are the leaves and the next thing is once you find out the leaves find out the non leaves since 4 5 6 7 are the leaves 3 2 1 are non leaves then you come from the longest non leaf to the root which means come from 3 to 1 so first you see 3 right and you observe the uh, tree subtree if you observe the subtree you will see that the left subtree is already a heap right subtree is already a heap but the root is failing the heap property therefore what you are supposed to do is compare the root with both left subtree and right subtree what did you what did you find the maximum is 16 therefore 16 has to go up and 6 has to come down so 16 has to go up and 6 has to come down therefore now uh, 4 5 6 7 as well as 3 they are all in the heap they are all following the heap property right and now next look at the subtree at 2 why after 3 we are coming to 2 now see this 5 is uh, this uh, left subtree is a heap max heap right subtree is a max heap because of adding one more element at the root there is a chance that it might fail the heap property right therefore what you do is find out the maximum in these three what is the maximum 12 right so you exchange you put 12 here and 5 here right and now this is this is completely a max heap now one this three two four five six seven all of them are max heaps now go to the index one what do you observe the chance is that one is not following the heap but the left subtree is a max heap and the right subtree is a max heap but the root is not following the max heap so this entire part is not a max heap because of the root so left subtree is a max heap right subtree is a max heap but the root is not following the property then what is that you are supposed to do find out the maximum among the root and its left subtree i mean left child and the right child then what did you observe what is the maximum 16 therefore 16 has to go up and one has to come down right and again check for this it is not at over right so again see now this one might fail right again see compare this one with left child and the right child which one is maximum 14 is maximum therefore 14 has to go up and one has to go down so now we have constructed the heap so again how did we construct the heap 
all the leaves or already hips and then we are going from the largest uh, index which is a non leaf to the one so now i have i am applying the hip phi i mean i am making the largest index as hip and then the next largest and so on till the one i'll take one more example and i'll explain you let us say the given array is like this that one right now let's see how to heap heap it <coughs> if you if you write it as a heap it is going to be 9 6 5 0 i am just writing it as a complete binary tree it is not at i don't know whether it is a heap or not i am just writing it as a complete binary tree okay 8 2 7 1 3 right so how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right therefore 9 elements are there 1 2 3 are the indexes 4 5 6 7 oh, 8 8 elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 one element is missing 9 6 5 0 okay Two, seven. This is one. This is three. Right? Okay. Now, how many elements are there? Nine elements are there. Therefore, what is the uh, starting point of the leaves? Is you have to find out n by two plus one to n. They will be leaves. Then what is n by two? So n by two in this case is nine. Nine by two plus one to n right they are all the leaves then what is 9 by 2 here 9 by 2 is nothing but uh, uh, you know 4 so 4 plus 1 which is 5 4 plus 1 to 8 which is nothing but 5 to 8 so we found out that 5 to 8 are so 5 to 9 are leaves 5 6 7 8 9 they are leaves so what do you understand every leaf is a maxi therefore you need not worry about it then what is the largest index which is a non leaf non leaf is 4 from there onwards you start applying the heap phi right so what what are we supposed to do this these two are left subtree and right subtree are already max heaps but the root we don't have about it now we have to make this entire part as a max heap compare the element at the root with the left child as well as right child which one is maximum 3 is maximum therefore 3 has to come up and 0 has to go down exchange so we have exchanged them right and now uh, 4 so till 4 it is already max heap now you go to 3 left child is already a heap and right child is already a max heap but the because of this placement of the root it may it might not be a heap right then you apply the heap phi then what is the maximum of these 3 7 therefore 7 has to come up and 5 has to go down right and now 3 so 3 and 4 these subtrees are already max heaps now 2 might not be a max heap isn't it now you just check this 2 might not be a max heap then what are we supposed to do left subtree is a max heap right subtree is a max heap now we have to apply the heap phi property on this then how can we find out find out among these three see only the left child and right child and the root right find out the root left child right child what is the maximum so what is the maximum 8 therefore 8 has to go up and 6 has to come down isn't it therefore 2 3 4 5 6 so on 9 they are all following the max heap property right and now you go to node 1 now check if node 1 node one's left subtree is already a max heap right subtree is already a max heap but because of the placement of 9 there there is a chance that it might violate the max heap property just you check 9 with left sub left child and right child it is maximum therefore it is following the max heap property so that is how i build the heap so how did i build the heap first point is every leaf is a max heap and second point is i will find out the largest index which is not a leaf and i try to apply heap by there heap by means i'll try to make it a heap 
from 4, 3, 2, 1, so on. Right? Therefore, the heart of this entire algorithm is if the left subtree is a max heap and the right subtree is a max heap, then how, what could we do in order to make uh, the root also a max heap? Left subtree will be a max heap, right subtree will be a max heap. Then we are going to have an element here. What are we going to do in order to make this entire tree a max heap? If we can do that procedure, then this entire thing could be solved. So that is what this procedure is. This procedure says that, you know, given an array A and an index I, I could be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Then we want to see that left subtree is already a max heap. Right subtree is already a max heap. Now the intention is to make the entire tree a max heap. That is how this algorithm works. I'll take an example and I'll explain you how this algorithm works. And then I'll show you how to use this algorithm in order to build a heap. Okay, fine. Now let's see this example and I'll explain you how the max heap file is going to work. So for this example, let us say uh, max heap is called with this which means i is pointing to the index 1 okay index is 1 index is 2 3 index is 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so now how does that uh, procedure work is first of all you find out the left child of i so what is left child of i 2i therefore l will point to 2i this is the left child and then you find out right child. What is right child? 2i plus 1, which is nothing but 3. Therefore, L will point to that and R will point to this. Okay. Now, I found out left, right and i. Then what we should do is, this left, next thing is you check if left is less than, you know, a dot heap size. This step is required just to see that if our, uh, you know, if our node, this node is having a left child or not. See, if I would have been this, there is no left child, right? Then you are going to get it to be 12. But then our maximum heap size is 10. So just to see that whether for a given node, left child exists and for a given node, right child exists, I'm just going to use this condition. So whether left is less than or equal to heap size, right is less than or equal to heap size. This, these two conditions will make sure that there is a left child and there is a right child, right? And now this condition, this first condition is going to check among these two which one is larger see finally what we should do is among these three i should find out the largest element and i should bring it up and i should get it down that is what i should do so the first condition is to check among these two which one is larger so among these two which one is larger uh, 14 is larger therefore largest will also point to this as of now largest value is this among these two right and now you go to the next one and again you check between largest and the right child now among the largest and right child which one is greater right child you know this left child itself is greater therefore largest is going to remain there right and now after these two conditions are over if largest is not equal to i which means if root is not equal to largest why root is supposed to be largest right then you exchange right then we are going to exchange which means 1 will come down and 14 will go there so just observe what we are doing so given a node i i am finding the left child and i am finding the right child and i am finding the maximum of these three nodes now once i found out the maximum of these three nodes i am going to put the maximum node i mean i am going to exchange the root with the maximum node that is what has happened right so that is what is done fine now again look at the last line what is that Again, we are going to call max heapify on largest. Why? Because largest is now changed. Largest is this one, right? So largest is pointing to this. Again, I am going to call max heapify on a comma largest. Therefore, the entire procedure begins here. So i starts here, right? Now the new i is two, which means that left child is already left. Left subtree is already a heap. Right subtree is already a heap. I don't know whether because of this it is a heap or not. So again we are going to apply heapify. Right? Now what should we do? Compare between these three and whichever is larger, get them there and then get it right. So one has reached from here to here. That is the direction. Right? And see what is happening next. Now uh, again the same thing. Find out the left tree, left child. So how 2i. 
and find out the right child how 2i plus 1 right and then you have to compare i with the left child which one is larger left child is larger therefore largest is going to point to this okay and now compare largest with the right child this one right now if i compare these two largest is the left step left child itself therefore we are going to stay there then i and largest both are different therefore largest has to go up and i has to go down so 8 will go up and 1 will come down got it now the largest is pointing to this right so again the same call so if you are if you understood this one has reached from here to here right now again the same call max e phi of a comma largest will be called then what is max e phi of a comma largest so a comma largest if it is called now i will become the this four right now again we have to find the left child and right child and we have to find the maximum see this now left child is 2i which means 8 and right child is 2i plus 1 which means 9 now we have to compare the root with the left child which means i with the left child which one is larger the left child therefore we are going to get right larger is left child and now we are going to compare larger with the right child which one is larger 4 therefore larger will become right child isn't it uh, now we are going to get to this so now we compare 4 and 1 so when i compare 4 and 1 i mean we already found out that larger is uh, 4 therefore we are going to exchange it i and larger both are not equal therefore i am going to exchange it i am going to write 4 here and 1 here done right therefore it has reached one has reached here so one has reached from here to here and again from here to here and again from here to here isn't it now again uh, since again uh, max e phi will be called on this therefore i will become this now again max e phi will be called but now when we check if you know what is the left child we found out that left child is 18 of 9 and right child is 19 right but what is the heap size here heap size is only 10 therefore left child is you no know, greater than the heap size so this one will not get executed and again right child is greater than the uh, this one therefore this one will not get executed and anyways largest is going to be remaining as i itself so it, this is where we are going to halt stop it right so so understand what has happened if the left subtree is already a heap right subtree is already a heap max heap and if the root is not a max heap then that root might have to go from here to here here to here and here to here therefore what is the total distance that the root has to travel or how many comparisons so in order to do one swapping i have to do three you know two comparisons and again to do one more swapping i have to do two comparisons right so just to move one level down or one height down I have to do two comparisons therefore total number of comparisons required will be maximum of 2 into log n where log n is the height of the tree therefore total time complexity is going to be theta of log n or I can write big O of log n in worst case it is going to be big O of log n in best case we might find out that it is its right position and we might stop there in worst case we might have to come these many steps down so since i am talking about the worst case time complexity the time complexity of this uh, entire procedure is order of log n then what about the space complexity so one thing you understood that time complexity is log n the reason is uh, this uh, from here the root has to come down come down come down and till the leaf then what is the total distance from root to leaf that is nothing but the height of the tree so what is the height of a heap height of a heap is always order of log n therefore for this algorithm we might require a time of order of log n then what will be the space complexity for this algorithm in order to find out the space complexity one thing is you have to see if any extra space is used i don't think that we are going to use any extra space other than the variables i left right and largest therefore that is constant time and then since it is a recursive function we have to see how many recursive calls were really made so initially recursive call is made at this level and again at this level and again at this level and again at this level therefore number of recursive calls made is equal to the number of levels 
right and in, in worst case how many levels will be there number of levels in the or uh, number of levels in this uh, total you no know, this tree is heap is order of log n therefore space complexity is also order of log n because we are going to make these many uh, recursive calls right so all these recursive calls are going to be log n so the space complexity is order of log n and time complexity is order of log n so when do, what is n here when whatever node at which you are going to apply so actually this n depends on what where you are calling this function you need not call the function always from the first node you might even call the function from this this node if this is the node on which you have called this max cp5 then n will become the number of nodes in this subtree isn't it therefore this n is nothing but number of nodes in this subtree for which i is the root n is nothing but number of nodes in this subtree for which i is the root right so depending on the number of nodes in this subtree for which i is the node this n will depend i am assuming that here we are going to call it from 1 and there are 10 nodes then it is going to be log n log n right so that is this time complexity for one calling of max c therefore if a max c is called at a level highest level then the time complexity required is order of log n if the max c is called at the lowest level then time complexity required is order of 0 order of log 0 order of log 1 because the height is 1 order of log 2 order of log 3 so it depends on at what level you are calling that max cp5 right if you call it from the beginning it is going to be log n if it call it from any other node it depends on height of it right now next we shall see how to use this max cp5 in order to build a heap i have already shown you that so we know that the leaves are going to be heaps and we are going to apply max cp5 on this one first and then we are going to apply max cp5 on this one like that I'll take an example and I'll show you. I'll even show you the code. We shall analyze the time complexity for that. So next algorithm is build heap. This one is max cp5. You can do some modifications to this max cp5 and you can even construct it for min heaps, which means min heap if I just some minor modifications. Here we are finding out the maximum element and we are you know getting it onto the top. What will be min heap if I contain? Find out the minimum elements and get onto the top. Right? So uh, if you if you observe this what we are trying to do is from the path from the root or wherever you are calling this function to the leaves we are finding the smallest you know uh, the placement of i and we are placing it there right so let's see what happens uh, if you apply this to build a heap 